What's going on YouTube? Gen Nation, Scythex here with another video, another reaction, and we have more Jezelneck. Uh, this one is called The Worst Crowd I Ever Heard. This is from the Just for Laughs um, stand-up. So, uh, last week we did one about him dropping babies and enjoying himself doing it. And uh, I'm curious what he has to say about this worst crowd, because I'm sure he's going to roast the hell out of them. But um, let's get into it. Jezel Neck. Great to be here in Montreal tonight. Great to be here. This past weekend, I had to go to Boston with my girlfriend, stay with her dad. Could not have been more uncomfortable. He wouldn't let us sleep in the same bedroom together. You know? He goes, sorry, buddy. I just don't trust you. I said, trust me, buddy. I'm fucking your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> My big brother's in high school now, and we're close, but sometimes I'll try to take advantage of that, you know? A couple months ago, he calls me up, he goes, Anthony, I just cut school for no reason, and now I need you to write me a sick note and then forge dad's signature and make it good. And I did my best, but I'm horrible at stuff like that. Teacher took one look at the note and said, Mikey, you expect me to believe this? You don't have AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. If you guys like that AIDS joke. <laughs> I've got some great news. You're gonna love this next AIDS joke. <laughs> I just got an email from an ex-girlfriend of mine telling me that she has AIDS. And I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> I like your style. <laughs> Facts. I just got an email from an ex-girlfriend telling me that she has AIDS. And I didn't know how to comfort her. So I just wrote back, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just read the biography of the guy who invented Super Mario Brothers. Did you know that when he was a kid, people used to laugh at him when he would kill turtles with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I once dated a girl who owned a parakeet. Oh my God. That fucking thing never shut up. But the bird was cool. <laughs> <laughs> He's such an ass. Thank you. What about the crowd? So sensitive. A couple months ago, she got her hair cut. Two inches cut off her hair, came home and cried for two hours. Finally went to her and said, baby, what are you so upset about? It's just a haircut. I'm the one who's got to find a new girlfriend. <laughs> I knew that was coming. You guys have been a really good crowd. I mean, obviously, I've had way better. But I also had worse. I think the worst crowd I ever had there we go. was in this place called Great Barrington, Massachusetts. Have you guys ever heard of that? It's like a small town, like a couple hours north of New York, in between here and, and New York. It's like a nice place. They got trees and shit. <laughs> I just have one bar where everyone goes every night. You know? And one night I'm there doing a show, and it's going pretty well until I tell this joke. I say, guys, favorite writer of all time, favorite author, William Shakespeare. Love Shakespeare. I still read Shakespeare today. And people will argue with me that it's impractical to read so much Shakespeare. But let me learn you something. <laughs> if it wasn't for Romeo and Juliet, I would have totally overreacted when my fiance killed herself. <laughs> now, clearly, clearly that's not a joke for everybody, right? I mean, pretty much just people who read. But, <laughs> but wherever I go, at least one person will laugh really hard at that joke, you know, but not in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. In Great Barrington, Massachusetts, it was like a dead, angry silence until a guy yells out, Great Barrington, Massachusetts, 
is the suicide capital of the country. <laughs> and we hate that stuff here. Now, that's a tough situation. Luckily, I'm a professional. It's coming. I knew I had three options to get out of it. Option number one, apologize to everybody. Tell you guys I'm really sorry. I didn't know that about your town. You're definitely not apologizing. If I had, I never would have told that joke. Not my style. <laughs> Option number two, point out the obvious. You should all move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But instead I went with option number three. And I said, you know what? Fuck Great Barrington, Massachusetts. The only good thing I can say about this town is the suicide rate isn't as high as it should be. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. All right. All right, that one was short and sweet, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. The, that, the lady laughing when about the AIDS joke. That shit was funny. Him going, I like your style. That's perfect. Um, dude, Jezelneck is, he's a beast. He's a roasting beast, man. If I, I can't imagine a crowd giving him a hard time and him just taking it. He must have laced into him. Bill Burr is another example. Uh, if a crowd is not the crowd that he, um, is expecting or the crowd's turning on him for whatever reason, he'll just freak out and just roast you. He'll spend his whole time roasting you. And there's a great, um, there's a great roast by Bill Burr on the Philly crowd, <laughs> which I do want to do on the channel because I haven't heard it in a long time, but he laces into him hardcore. It is, it is a master class of roasting for 11 minutes straight. I think, um, but with Jezelneck, man, like I said, uh, the dark humor is funny to me. It's meant to make you laugh. Uh, nothing's really serious. So I, I enjoy this type of stuff. And, uh, what'd you guys think? Let me know in the comments below whether you liked it or you hated it. And, uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll just continue rocking and rolling. And, uh, we appreciate, um, the, the feedback, good or bad. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace, everyone.